so this company up is uh, Ten Cube uh, with uh, Wave Secure, which is a uh, leading security product for uh, mobile devices, privacy, security. Good morning. My name is Darius. I'm one of the founders and the CEO of Ten Cube. Um, we solve a very big problem in the mobile industry that's often overlooked. We believe the um, mobile industry is growing very fast, obviously. One of the biggest problems still remains is a very simple fact. People lose phones. In fact, BBC says that this is a 400 million pound problem for UK alone. Every 12 seconds, a phone is lost in the UK. Depending on which part of the world you're in, this affects between 5% to 25% of the population, of, of the mobile user base. And this is a big problem because not only is it is expensive, you lose the data that's inside the phone, and often, increasingly, you lose the privacy along with it. Now we're doing email, we're doing IM, social network, um, we're buying apps, we're doing a lot of things on the phone, and it's a big problem if you lose that. So which is why we came up with Wave Secure, which is the ultimate product to solve this problem. And what it does is to allow you to remotely lock down the phone in case you lose it. Just go to the website, log in, and just click a button and you lock down. It's completely disabled. Nobody gets to use it. It becomes worthless. So it incentivizes the guy to return the phone to you. And on top of that, you can track down the phone, find out who is using it, what is it being used for, where is the phone, and track down a lot of this information. You can pick up the phone and call the person and say, hey, I know you have my phone. I know where you pick it up, and I know where you are right now. <laughs> so uh, my suggestion to you is just leave it at the cafe where you found it. <laughs> and there's a very high chance you actually get the phone back. But sometimes, unfortunately, you might drop it on the highway or somewhere, somewhere you just can't find it back. Um, at least you can always have a backup copy of your data securely stored on the server. And after you have a secure copy of your data, you can always wipe off your data to protect your privacy. So that's what we do in a nutshell. Um, some of the customers include uh, uh, include users worldwide uh, in to more than 200 countries who download it directly from our website or through an app store. But also, we work with carriers and OEMs to bring this to users. Customers would include carriers like Singtel and Telenor, as well as OEMs like Nokia and Sony Ericsson. In one way or another, another we partner up to provide this service to their user. And um, some of our recognitions that we have received include the Red Herring Asia 100. We are we originally based out of Asia. And um, most notably last year, uh, we were one of Google's top three um, Android Developer Challenge winner. Some of our selected press coverage, I'm not going to bore you too much with it, but you will always, you'll find us um, typically in the last 12 months, Android has been very newsworthy. So you find us as one of the top 10 Android apps or um, an app of the week or best Android app, must have Android app and so on. So um, one, one of the things you'll find also is that if you Google Android mobile security, you find us in top three of the five links. Uh, one of the key strengths is that we provide uh, the widest device support in the entire market. We're probably the only vendor in the world who provides across all of these platforms. Uh, in terms, in, in, in includes a full product of what you've seen just now on Symbian, Windows Mobile, Android, and BlackBerry, as well as a subset of the product on iPhone and Java phones, which provides a backup and restore due to the technical limitation of the OS. Uh, on top of a technology product, why partners love to work with us is because we provide a complete package as well. So the entire infrastructure for partners to go to market within 14 to 30 days, a uh, marketing team to work with them, a support team to be able to support directly answer user queries and so on. Um, so if there are any distributors, OEMs, or carriers in the audience, if you want to work with us, we're very happy to talk to you. And that's about it, Sean and Sweet. Um, if you want to try this out, you can point your phone browser to m.wastecure.com or you can just download it from uh, So Darius, uh, very clever idea. Is this, do you primarily go after consumers or is there an enterprise play here as well? Primarily consumers, but our um, customers do include enterprises like, for example, Singapore Police and Military. So do they have, uh, in, in, does that mean that they've got kind of a central dashboard or a way to manage this centrally amongst all of their users? They do. Uh, in fact, we do have an enterprise version that's coming up uh, on a SaaS model. Um, right now, we don't have that yet. We have deployed this several times for customers. The SaaS model is going to come out in two months' time. So, How many phones have you deployed this on? Right now, uh, more than half a million okay. so far. Yeah. And what, what percent of those have you had um, users either wipe the phone or have the phone returned? Do you have any metrics on sort of the engagement of the product and the types of scenarios you talked about? Uh, we do not actually know how many phones actually get returned. Uh, mm -hmm. We have many cases of users reported to us, but we don't have statistics yes. study because it's kind of a self-help process. What about remote um, wipes? Yeah, so remote uh, instructions such as remote locks, we get up to 90% of users who use used it before. Mm -hmm. um, we have to really study a bit further to, to analyze whether that may indicate that they actually use the product to get the phone back. So that's something that we have to study a bit further. Mm -hmm. 
Doris, what's the, what's the model, the economic model for you guys with uh, your carrier and OEM partners? Okay. Um, with carriers and OEM partners, with carriers, for example, there are really two ways. The main way it really is they would provide this service for a fee, typically a monthly subscription to the end user. Um, just take a case, let's say Singtel, right? So they would provide this for $2 a month to the end user, and we do a revenue share with them, which is about half. And um, so that's for about two-thirds of the subscriber base we have, have on Singtel. For f or, and on one-third of the users, they may provide this as a value-added free service if they are a high output user, a data plan user, email user. They'll, they'll put this as part of a package that, you know, $50, you get data plan, email, blah, blah, and you get we secure along with it. Um, with OEMs, again, there's two models. We um, initially had a, more of a licensing model. Nokia and Sony, they're both licensee of, these, of our product. They would package it as part of the phone and give it for free. Um, but what we see in the long run is moving towards, again, a revenue share model, which is very much like a, a, a PC security, you know, PC and antivirus kind of model. So that's what we're moving towards. Who do you compete with and why are you better? Um, well, we compete with a couple of companies, the startup companies that would include um, a company out here called Outlook, another company in China called Natchin. So those two are some of our biggest competitors. And uh, why are we better? Because we are the only company who's focused solely on doing this for the last five years. We've got a lot of things under the hood, technology, IP, workflow, and infrastructure, and so on. That's really um, take us uh, a lot further. If you talk to any of our customers, such as uh, our, the OEMs and carriers, you'll find that they'll find us a better, better product. So what was your revenue from last year and what about this year? That's something I'd love to take offline with you. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have a special product for the Apple iPhone and iPad development teams when they leave their phones in restaurants? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's interesting. Um, because of that, we've got, we have been talking to OEMs about putting this as part of a product for their users. Because of the incidents, we've got at least three OEMs who come talk, come talk to us and say, hey, you know what, we should put this in our own prototypes. <laughs> so, so that conversation is starting, but you know, that's really not our target market, but it's interesting. Good for PR. <laughs> Good for PR. One Good? Last question, maybe. No questions. Yeah. Thank you. All right.